The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the August 2nd, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. If you've got a question but you can't dial in, you can send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then <coughs> any <coughs> and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fabulous Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A sea of red out there. Dow's off 924. S&P's off 139. That's 2 and 3 tenths, 2 and 6 tenths, 3% 3 per, 3 for the NASDAQ or 570, 4% for the Russell, 92, 5.5% for the semis, 263, 3.6% for the uh, trannies. They're down 570. A sea of red out there. Gold's off 12 bucks, given uh, up its uh, gains that it, uh, earlier from earlier. Silver's down 30 cents. Lights we crude is off 262 just a shellacking to the downside natural gas up a penny no big deal there 30 year treasuries and an a to b equal cd pound on the upside up nearly two points right now print out at 124.15 now our leaders to the upside out here mercado libre is up eight and a half percent 135 bucks ies holdings up nearly nine bucks or six percent market taxes up four percent nine bucks bright horizon is up uh, eight percent nine dollars and change monolithic power system seven bucks a little less than one percent to the downside, <coughs> booking holdings off over 7%. That's a 269-point move. Mettler Toledo down 102.7% move. Asma Holdings, 84 bucks, nearly 10%. Supermicro, 64, 10%. Transdigium Group, 64. 5% Lamb Research down 62. That's a 7.5% move. So we got movers and we've got shakers. Where do we begin our day? Let's begin our day. With regard, let's take a look at the daily equity future contracts out here. Let's go draw in the A to B equals CD pattern for the ES mini. And that says if it closes below 54.3250, seems like a likely outcome. It generates a new aid. Whoops, that was the wrong thing. What did I have going on there? Sorry about that. Uh, it would generate a uh, large A to B equals CD pattern. We'll take a look at that price projection, the initial price projection being 53.12. See how price along that left-hand side of that C to D leg tells us about a stronger move than A to B leg. Retracement, a little bit uh, less than a 0.618 retracement. Odds favor we do more than a one-to-one -one move. 53.12 is the initial price target. 52.33 would be its next price target. As long as the NQ closes below its buy the D point pattern, that would be a close below 18,725 at day's end. That will trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. 17,458 is its price target. The Dow Equity Future contract has attained both the bottom of its daily profile and its one-to-one -one price projection level at the 39,539 level out there. The next target would be down at 39,098. In the case of the Russell 2000, nice moves to the downside. It still has not broken through support. Now, there's no A to B equals CD pattern here. Just simply price pulling back and testing its buy zone. The buy zone would be between 2065.86 and 2065, uh, I'm sorry, 2092. 
Okay, 2092 is the top of the profile, 2065 is the bottom and the center of its profile. So that's what's going on. We take a look at those contracts out there. There was a question that came in earlier this morning from Dan inside the Tigers Den. A very astute question, which was, hey, what's the signal when the spot fix is up by 50% after a day that had a plus 10% move? And what he's referring to there, so we'll pull up this chart here. And what we typically have seen in the past is when the spot volatilities has a one-day rate of change above plus 10%, those would be identified with blue arrows, we typically see a bounce or a bottom on the very next trading session. Now, years ago, when I first developed this pattern, uh, it was you would see that bounce or bottom down within two days. But then over the last about decade or so, it's typically taken place in the overnight session out there. Does it matter whether it's a plus 10%, plus 20%, plus 50% move out there? The answer to that is no, it doesn't. So is there something associated with a 10 and a 50? There might be, but not anything that I've ever identified before. What there is though, and where it comes into play, is how the spot volatilities is trading in relationship to its futures contracts. So here, if we take a look at this chart, really looking at the upper panel. And here we can see the August contract is printing at 22.25. The spot fix is at 29.11. The spot fix is above all of its forward-looking future contracts coming out to December. And in fact, that level is above its three-month spot fix number, that's at 26.07, the six-month and the one-year. This tells us that the market is out of whack. It is totally out of whack. Now that doesn't mean that it won't continue to stay wacky and stay further out of whack. Uh, but once we get that ratio where we have the spot fix above those levels out there, that tells us to expect and anticipate a nice viable bottom. I am not saying that it's the bottom. What I am saying, though, is it is a viable bottom. So that's really the key there, Dan, with regard to your question about the VIX and being up 50 percent. It isn't a percentage thing. Uh, when we get a when we get uh, when we get to situations like this, though, um, we're going to get one heck of a rally. I am not saying that rally is taking place today or Monday. We're going to have to take a look at the patterns that are out there because we're talking about the spot VIX. Our focus would really be on the ES Mini and the S and P 500. So that being said, let's go ahead and let's switch over and take a look at those charts out there. And we'll start by take a look at the ES Mini. We know if there's going to be any kind of bounce or bottom, we're first going to see it on the intraday time periods. And that would be your lower right-hand panel screen out there. Now, on a 10-minute basis, looks like you're going to get a, uh, you may get a TD9 count bottom out here. You already have a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom for that specific time frame. But that could, well, maybe not. Maybe it was negated. One second here. Sorry. Got to pull this back just a tad. So the question is, did price on a 10-minute basis close below 53.36.25. That last candle session was 53.37. So you've got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern on the 10 minute chart, but got all kinds of resistance up above. No bottom pattern on the 15, no bottom confirmed pattern on the 15, nor on the 30, nor on the 60. You are in bar number eight on the 120 minute chart. This bar completes at 12 noon. That says you could at the end of the trading day have a TD9 count bottom there. And I don't see one any place else. So what we don't see here inside the ES Mini are really any kind of bottom signals out there. Yes, the 10 minute has a bottom signal, but not unless price were to close by 5368, would it have much meaning there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. When we come back from this break, let's take a look at Google for G-Man inside the Tiger's Den. And of course, anything else that you'd like as well. Steve at TFNN.com. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's down 912. S&P's off uh, 136. And NASDAQ 100 to 532. We're taking a look here at the uh, charts for Google. This is for uh, G-Man inside the Tiger's Den. So G-Man, right now Google is testing its buy zone. The buy zone on a daily time frame is between 167.81 and 169.74. We've got price trading into a swing point that formed a few days ago, back on July 26. That had volume of 25 million shares so far today. 6 million shares. At 6 million shares in nearly two hours of trading, we multiply that times three just to get some kind of feel for an average. That'd be 18 million shares. Google is moving into its swing point with lighter volume. I'm going to suggest that you be very cautious here on the short side now. I know that you mentioned you're in a, a great uh, trade out there, and not that it can't bust through these levels out there, but if you then take a look at the weekly time frame chart for Google, Google formed a TD9 count top. Last week, price got back to its breakout level, no bottom signal, but getting back to a breakout level can be a bottom signal. Volume last week on a weekly basis for Google to the downside was 125 million shares. So far through today, 66 million shares. In other words, the sellers with sellers in the market, you know, no problem, plenty of them. But sellers inside of Google, I would be very careful here. Now, not that price can't go lower. Where's the next level of support? G-Man, the next level of support would be 163 and change. 163.10 is what shows up on our screen right now. That would be the monthly oscillator unchanged line. Um, but knowing that the spot volatilix is totally out of whack, that will resolve itself. It always has. It always will. Um, I just be careful here. You got light volume. And, um, you know, do we have light volume in other areas? Well, I'll just take a look at I'll take a look at an off screen out here and I'll look at the index ETF. So in the case of the Qs, as an example, the swing point that it's taking out is a swing point from July 30th. That had volume of 41 million shares. Today, we are already at 32 million shares out there. So that is there's really two things that are going on here. In fact, let me just do this here. Let me open up. Let me actually go back to that chart. Might as well share it with you, and we'll go take a look at it together. 
And this is so the interesting thing about the Qs here. Yes, today we're going to get a confirmed larger A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. And that pattern, why am I getting that stuff? There we go. And that pattern suggests a move down to 426.18. But see how we've got volume here? But we don't have volume in Google itself. So Google is holding up better than the markets out there, knowing that you're back at uh, support levels. Again, I'd just be very careful. Or what I wouldn't say is that uh, we've got this huge, gigantic A to B equals C to pattern of downside inside of Google, at least not just yet. Now, we're looking at the uh, chart here for the Qs. And even though we're going to get that confirmation from a volume standpoint today, the Qs make bottoms with volume, period. End of story. Go back and take a look at your daily charts and take a look at those daily signals where you've got high volume. As an example, take a look at April 19th. The volume there was 75 million shares. That was one of the highest volume days um, of the uh, year out there. It wasn't the highest volume day, but it was one of the highest volume days in all of 2024 out there. The signature of bottoms inside of the QQQ ETF, I can't tell you why that works. I just know that it does work out there. Take a look at the uh, bottom that formed out here on the trading day of October 26, 2023. Significant bottom. What did the Qs do? Volume of 78 million shares out there. So you can't get caught up into the total fact out here. Yes, it's going to confirm an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. But the volume that we've got right now, if this volume were to keep up here, this would be signaling to an eye that even though you'd have that confirmed A to B equals CD pattern, you've got a bottom that is likely to unfold. And you're keeping that in mind with regard to that spot volatility, it's not just the mere fact that you're over plus 10 percent, but because the spot VIX and its futures contracts are just simply completely out of whack. So if I go back and take a look at uh, those Google charts, see if there's anything else out there that I can assist you with here on these white background charts. Um, what else can I take a look at? Let's look at the consecutive dance moves out here. So consecutive dance moves we've seen, you know, you had a nice three bar rally. So you can see here in Google, you've had two, three bar rallies on its move lower. So I guess one thing you could start to take a look at there as well, G-Man, is the fact that if you start to see price closing higher, let's say that Monday, you would expect or at least anticipate a likely three-bar rally out there. So hope that helps you out. Thanks for the question, as always, and have a fabulous Friday and a wonderful weekend out there. Let's go to our next request. This is from Dan inside the Tiger's Den, who is short Amazon. Let's take a look <coughs> Let's take a look at its charts. Now, in the case of Amazon, Amazon has already attained its one-to-one -one A to B equals CD price projection. So at least I believe it has. Visually, it has. Let's take a look at the A to B point out there. And we'll just simply go ahead and move this line, try to move this line over to the C point, which was yesterday's high. And so you can see we're well below, we're well below the one-to-one -one price objective. Now, even if today's candle ended up looking like a hammer candle, it's really not a hammer candle because of that gap that we've got to the downside. So I'd be looking for a bullish reversal candle that would confirm after today's candle out there to generate some type of uh, buy the D point pattern. But with regard to where is price headed to next, well, let me do this off screen out here. Let me pull up Amazon. Let me give you the uh, daily price targets out there, additional price targets in this pattern. So the one-to-one -one was at 166.20. The one to 1.272, 159.56. The one to 1.27, one to 1.618, one, one 151.12. So you got 159.56, 151.12 that you'd be looking at. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, which we get a road momentum indicator top, prices below profile support. So that could be signaling move all the way back to 146.15 out there. So that's its message right now. Um, I don't see anything else inside of Amazon. From an intraday standpoint, we don't have any kind of a bottom signal out there on a 30-minute time frame. None that I see. Um, if I take a look at a well, it, with this gap to the downside, we're really not going to or not likely to see any kind of a bottom signal. But you could get a TD9 count for sure. So let's take a look at the 65-minute chart, see if there's anything out there. No, not really that I see. So in the case of Amazon, it does look like it's headed lower. What I'd be paying attention to would be the first bullish reversal candle. That would confirm a buy the D point pattern out there. So I hope that helps you out. And as always, thanks for your request. Um, 
Okay. Uh, would we look at Avgo? Absolutely. So this is for do it inside the Tiger's Den. AVGO is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's go see what this thing is doing. What this is trading out at. Uh, trading out at 142.90. So in the case of Avgo, it has an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Uh, so we can see that. I'm going to uh, actually draw this off screen just so that I can, it's just easier for me to give you some accurate numbers here. So the one to one price projection on Avgo was at 148.34. And you actually did get a bullish reversal candle which was on the trading day of July 31st. That pattern is uh, being negated as we speak right now. So the next price projection level out here, dude, is what price hit this morning. That was at 140.51. We got below that, but 140.51, basically speaking. The next price target to the downside on a daily basis would be the 1.618 expansion of that C to D leg, and that would get you to 130.56. Steve Rhodes with TFNN, we'll be right back. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back, folks. So we were taking a look at uh, Broadcom, Avgo is the ticker symbol out there, A-V-G-O. And uh, so what you're waiting for here, um, dude, would be a bullish reversal can on the daily time frame, and that would identify the next buy the D point pattern. Short of that, we should see price go target. I gave those A to B equals CDs on the daily. The weekly chart suggests to move back to support, which is the top of the daily profile, 133.26. And 137.24 is a support level on the monthly time frame. So hope that helps you out. Thanks, as always, for your request. Uh, we had a request to take a look at the Arm Holdings. This is for Sandy. And I believe the question is, uh, is there any kind of entry point that we see? So we take a look at our holding. Stay is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. I see an A to B equals C dependent on the downside. It's more than a one-to-one -one level out there. So there's two patterns that, that you would be considering out here, Sandy. The first is a TD9 count bottom. Now, because you've got an A to B equals CD pattern, and we can look at an intraday chart out here, but I would say today is not the day. Because you've got that A to B equals CD pattern, the better signal would be a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point. Now, what you'd like to see, maybe you get a uh, bar number nine on Monday. That pattern completes on Tuesday. Uh, without a bullish reversal candle, that could give you an entry into uh, arm holdings as well. The reason that you would be looking for that as a potential pattern out here is because on a weekly time frame, which has a TD9 count and Rosemont indicator top, price is pulled back and it is tested support. And that support level is at 108.69. If price were to close below 108.69, that could be hinting to you and I that we get back to its prior swing low. The prior swing low is the candle that, in essence, price is trading into, which was the week of April 19th. 70 million shares were done that week. This week so far, you're at 77 million shares. So if price closed below 108.69, that would then signal to you and I that price should go target the low of that swing, and that would be down at the 85.61 level. So I say today is not that day, but keep an eye on this come Monday, come Tuesday out there. If you see a bullish reversal candle with price finding support on a weekly basis, then you can at least fire away for a trade. And that trade then ought to take price up towards the 137.93 to 142.34 level out there. So, Sandy... Uh, thanks for writing in. I hope that uh, provided you with the information you were looking for and have a, a wonderful weekend. Let's take a look at Uranium, URA. This is for LB. And uh, LB, this uh, yesterday broke that TD9 count bottom. I don't recall if we looked at this one yesterday or not, but regardless of whether we did or it didn't, that TD9 count bottom pattern failed. So now it's just the A to B equals CD pattern that is out here, both on a daily and on a weekly basis. Um, and it looks like Arm Holdings wants to head lower. Now, its price target, its next price target, in lieu of daily A to B equals CD patterns out there, which I will try to do off screen, the weekly chart is suggesting a move back towards 2141. And 2141 is its weekly TD9 count breakout level. Now, I'll do this off screen, looking at the A to B equals CD patterns on the daily time frame. So the... Uh, The one, we are at the 1 to 1 1.27 level. We're below that, which is at 2.2503. The next price target to the downside LB would be down at 2337. That would be the 1.618. A to B equals CD pattern to the downside there. So, uh, and on a monthly chart, uh, you know, it's too early in the month. Obviously, it's only the second, but we are trading below its bullish structured profile out there. Could be signaled to move back to 1990. Not going to worry so much about the monthly, other than to know price is trading below support. It's really about the daily right now. It's really about the um, weekly. I do see the daily is in wave number seven. That is the letter G on my screen out there. That requires a higher low to confirm that pattern. But with the A to B equals CD pad that's underway, I'd really prefer, Lee, that you wait for at least a bullish reversal candle to confirm that type of a bottom pattern. So I hope that helps you out. Have a, a great weekend as well. Nicholas would like to take a look at GE. And Nicholas, I believe, is looking for entry points, potential entry points, whether it be GE or NVIDIA. So let's start by taking a look at the General Electric. So GE, which has a Rhodes indicator top on a daily time frame, is in its buy zone right now. The buy zone is between 160.58 and below that at 158.50. So we've got a swing point out here that took place on July 17th. Volume, 6 million shares. Today, we're at 3.5 million shares. So you're pulling into that swing point with volume. It's possible that this profile level will hold, but more likely you're going to see at least a tag of that swing point low from July 17th. And that number out there, 
Nicholas is at the 156.51 area. The weekly chart looks like this week is going to go ahead and confirm a Roach Mentum indicator top. It already had a TD9 count top that was in play, and that had led to nothing more than a sideways consolidation. So it's very possible here that what we really do have is just a sideways consolidation inside of GE, but it still may want lower price based upon that daily swing point analysis that we did. The monthly chart has a confirmed TD9 count top, but we can see, again, just sideways movement. If price did move lower, its price target for the monthly time frame, 143.40 out there. So you're sitting at support. You're moving into a swing point with volume. There's another swing point below the one we looked at. This is the one from June 14th. Six million shares out there. So, again, you're kind of moving towards that level with volume, but you haven't gotten towards the top of that. You are trading inside that July 17th. So I think you got to just uh, hold your horses right now with regard to GE. But the chart, even though it's got those daily, weekly, and monthly topping patterns, not too bad because it's just simply a sideways consolidation. You also were looking at NVIDIA as a potential for a long entry point out here. We take a look at NVIDIA. What do we know? We know it has a buy the D point pattern still. It has that buy the D point pattern because it was established by this bull separating candle back on July 31st. That says the low of the pattern, which is the low of July 30th, is that level that price needs to close below to negate that signal. That candle had volume of 486 million shares. Today we've tested and rejected that so far, but 231 million shares. Seems to me like what NVIDIA is communicating to us because we've tested the swing point. Yes, we've rejected it, but it appears to be on volume. Now, I don't know what the volume really looks like at 4 p.m., but right now it looks like it's going to be more. And that then suggests, Nicholas, that price should at least go retarget that swing low, that swing low being 102.54. The weekly chart says, Stevie, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. I want to get down to 81 and a quarter. 81 and a quarter is a TD9 count breakout level. The monthly chart says, Stevie, I don't know what you're talking about on a daily time frame because I want to get back to 92.36 after having formed a TD9 count top out there. So the weekly longer term trends right now for the weekly and the monthly for NVIDIA are to the downside. The daily might also be to the downside. I would say at least price is likely, likely to go test that uh, swing point again of July 30th out there. But it does have a buy the D point pattern. Now, a counter trend move inside of NVIDIA, Nicholas, would find resistance between 109.19 and uh, 111.40. So that's what I see there. Hope that helps you out. And as always, thanks so much for writing in. We're going to go to a break out there. I'll see if I've got any other requests. I don't know if I've got anything inside the Tiger's Den. I don't think I have anything by email. But uh, we'll figure out what to do. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey you've no doubt come across many folks who push forex trading as a way to make big money quickly unfortunately there are equally as many stories of these so-called forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the forex market this is what sets teddy Keckstack's the tiger forex report off the riffraff Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Keckstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's take a look at the 30-year treasury out here. If we take a look at the 30-year treasury... On a monthly time frame, we can see that price has got a nice road momentum indicator bottom, and price is trading in towards its buy zone, its uh, sell zone. So the sell zone for the 30-year treasury is going to be between about 125.17 and 131 even Steven out there. So know that that's your resistance level. The reason why you want to know that's your resistance level is because we have a buy the D point bottom on the weekly chart out there. And price right now is going to close above its TD9 count breakdown level. That suggests a run for its prior swing point, which was a TD9 count top. That was from uh, December 29th out there. And that's anywhere between the level of uh, 123.29 and 126.01. So that's where price is headed there. The daily time frame has an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. So you can see that. Its next price projection is at uh, 125. Um, 125.25 out there. So that's the next upside price projection. We look at the intraday charts out here. I do not see a top on the 30 minute. I see a TD9 count top on the 60 minute. Looks like that TD9 count top is going to get at least tagged. If price closes over its high, its high being 124.28, then that would be signaling that we should see higher price. I do not see any other kind of topping patterns, whether it's the five hour, four hour, or two hour chart out here. So watch that TD9 count top. That's courtesy of the 60 minute time frame. And that level is 124.28. You close above that, you are headed to higher ground inside of the 30 year treasury. And that was for CKP inside the Tiger's Den. CKP also wanted to take a look at Goldilocks out here. Let me close up this set of charts out there, free up some resources. And although this is not the gold chart, we're going to go take a look at the intraday charts as well, daily, weekly, monthly, and some intraday. So we look at Goldilocks. Goldilocks last month went ahead and confirmed and completed a TD9 count top. So the key level of resistance for gold is going to be 2537.70. We're looking at the December contract. If we see price close above that, that tells us we've got a rocket ship to the upside. The weekly time frame has a couple different uh, roads to indicator tops. You can see those. It's got a TD9 count top. And all that that's really led to is a consolidation with inside that weekly profile. And that, in essence, is between the range of 2340 up to 2481. The key level, again, that price needs to take out here to tell us that this is a rocket ship to, to the upside is 2537.70. That's the high for the week of July 19th. So tops on the monthly, tops on the weekly. And on a daily time frame, no top per se. All we have is really price getting back to prior swing point levels where it has found resistance out there. You can see that along the top screen. Um, right now you're testing its oscillator and change line. That's that green level out there. This could be a level of support. If it is a level of support, we should see some bottoming signals on those intraday charts. I do not see anything on the 30-minute chart. I do not see anything on the 60-minute chart. 
I do not see anything on the 120-minute chart. On the 240, price is back towards a buy zone. The buy zone on the 240-minute chart is between the levels of 24.59 and 24.65. On the five-hour chart, it's between 24.54 and 24.64 out there. So there's the potential that gold is at support with the daily at the green oscillator and change line, the longer-term bullish structure profiles. But if you do see a close below 24.54.10, you are very likely going to see gold head lower out there. So CKP, I hope that helps you out with regard to both gold and the 30-year treasury. And thank you for taking the time to write in. Let's go to our next request out here. And that was from a dude inside the Tiger's Den. He'd like to take a look at uh, UEC and A to B equals CD price projection level. So for that then, let's go ahead and uh, change screens out there. Let's get to our black background screen. Let's get to our three paneled set of charts out here. Let's go ahead and pull up UEC. And this way we can go ahead and draw in the A to B equals CD pattern. So let's start with the daily time frame. So there's several out here. So when there's several in a daily time frame, what I really like to do is actually I prefer to go back to the weekly and cut out some of the noise. So let's see if we can identify the predominant A to B equals CD pattern out here. And even here on the weekly, we've got a couple that we can use. So let me just see on the monthly. On the monthly, we don't have a... Uh, I don't know if we do on the monthly or not. Let's take a quick peek at this. So we're going to go in reverse order. The monthly A point could be or should be February 1st, 2024. Now, that B point would be the low of May, of uh, March of 2024, and the C point should should be the high of April. Yeah, it's a 75% retracement out there. So um, so this tells us right now, uh, dude, that the next price projection level would be towards the bottom of the monthly profile. The next price projection level is 410. The bottom monthly profile is at 430, 435. Let's look at the weekly chart out here. Let's try to draw in a different A to B equals CD pattern. And so for that, we're going to use, in essence, the same high, which in this case is January 29th. The low we're going to use out here now is going to be the low from June 10th. And then the high is going to be from the high of the week of July 15th. So that does swing point, which on uh, the week that began June 10th, did volume of 40 million shares. You are now at 39 million shares. So it looks like you're going to have confirmed weekly A to B equals CD pattern. That price projection would get us back to the 407 level. That would be the one-to-one. -one. I would caution you, it's a less than a 0.68 retracement. We're along the strong side of the C to D leg. It could more likely be moved to the 328 level. And on the daily time frame, there's at least two or three or four different A to B equals CD patterns. Let's take a look at a smaller conservative one out here. Give you what that price projection level might be. I would say I'd probably start it right here. The high of April 3rd. Maybe we get the same numbers out there. Uh, let's find out. The low being the uh, week uh, or the day of June 11th, and then the high being the day uh, for the C point of July 15th, 441. I think that was the same one. No, it wasn't. So it's a different A to B equals CD. So there's a number of them that are going on. So how do you play this? Well, um, yeah, great question. How do you play it? Well, you just asked for A to B equals CD down projection. So those are the projections. I would say as price starts moving into those areas, if you see bullish reversal candles on the daily time frame, you would be expecting or anticipating at least some kind of rally. So, dude, I hope that provided you with the information that you were looking for there. Um, and you are most welcome. I'll take a quick peek. I don't see anything else inside the Tiger's Den. If I overlook something and you had posted something in the Tiger's Den, would you be kind enough to repost that so that I can get right to it? In the meantime, nothing in on the uh, phone, No, nothing by email. So let's go switch back and let's just start uh, surfing. Let's go take a look at intraday charts. Uh, let's go take a look at the NQ out there, see what it is uh, doing. This is not the NQ right now, but we'll get those charts up on our screen here in a moment. Actually, let me do this first here. Let me put up the 60-minute time frame charts. These are the 60-minute time frame charts for each of the equity future contracts. You can see the NQ right now is trading right up into a key level of resistance. If there's going to be a rally, one would think that maybe it starts with the NQ out there. Well, what I want you to pay attention to on a 60-minute time frame is the oscillator and change line. We can see that this has acted as resistance ever since 2 o'clock in the morning on yesterday, August the 1st out there. If price is able to close above this, it signals for this time frame a change in trend. What would that tell us, Steve-O? 
That would tell us that price should go target 18,669, 18,753, 18,809, or 18,934. Now, when I say target those levels, each of those levels would be the next battleground as price were to be higher. But not until price closes above the oscillator and change line on the 60 minute time frame will there be any kind of signal that we've got any kind of,、uh, you know, bounce that is underway. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now. At tfnn.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24 7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, And videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at tfnn.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30 day money back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit tfnn.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24 7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30 day money back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN Educating Investors. Welcome back, folks. We've got the 30 minute time frame charts up for the、uh, equity future contracts out here. The ES, as we、uh, got six minutes left in this trading candle,、uh, is very likely going to go ahead and form a roadsman to indicator bottom. You can see right now that price is dealing with resistance, that oscillator and change line out there. Again, you still got to keep an eye on that 16 minute、uh, set of charts out there. But、uh, you've got a bottom signal here. You have a bottom signal on the NQ, same pattern, roads momentum indicator bottom. Now, in its case, price is above the oscillator and change line. That could be signaling an NQ move up to 18,670, 18, 18,705, or 18,786. So it would be a close above 18,786. That would then say, okay, being short here, you're going to have to ride out some、uh, moves higher. The、uh, Dow equity future contract may, we still have six minutes, five and a half minutes to go, so I don't know if we're going to get a bullish reversal candle there, but that would confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom as well. And on the Russell 2000, I don't have any kind of a bottom pattern here, so it'll have to take its P's and Q's from the ES, the NQ, and the Dow equity future contract.、Uh, let's take a look at、uh, maybe some multiple timeframes here. 
for the NQ. Let's get the that set of charts up on our screen. So, again, I think we well, this is the ES. Let's go. Uh, let's get the NQ charts up here. Sorry about that. That'll take a moment here to populate. We already covered the ES. Um, in the case of the NQ, let's see what we have out there. So I don't see a bottom signal on the 240. You're in bar number seven right now. In the 120 minute time frame chart, you are in bar number eight. Again, the bar number eight, that's going to close here at 12 noon. That says you could get a bottom between 12 and 4 o'clock this afternoon. I know that's a wide berth, but it's a two hour chart that we're looking at. So we've got the 60 minute time frame chart out there. Price right now dealing with that oscillator and change line. Bottom pattern on the 30, bottom pattern on the 15, bottom pattern on the 10. Key levels now to watch on any further moves higher. I would say it would be 18,686. Uh, That's coming from our 10 minute time frame chart. We have not seen, well, I take that, yeah. As I say, we haven't seen price close above the top of a profile for quite some time, and that's true, but there was a small period of time, there were a few hours here, at uh, 7.30 in the evening till about, uh, till about 10 o'clock uh, last evening. Folks, I hear the music, that means it's the end of the show. Thanks so much for joining me this week. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll look forward to getting in, improving even more and being stronger when I see you come next Monday. Take care. Thanks for joining us. Tonight.